All right, so I'm Paul Schweiger. I work at IBM Quantum. I'm a maintainer on the Knative project, and I'm going to talk today uh, very quickly about building quantum safe applications. So, three things I want people to take away from this talk. One is I want them to understand the risk that quantum computing poses to security and encryption. Uh, the second thing is I want people to understand, you know, how you can start the journey to becoming quantum safe. How do you mitigate that risk? And then lastly, I want to leave you with a couple of things that you can do today to get started on that journey. So first, understanding the risk. Um, you know, our current cryptography is based around the idea that factoring large numbers is hard. Right? It takes millions of years to factor a 2,000 digit number. Um, but with powerful enough quantum computers, that takes hours. And so as a result, all of our public key cryptography is vulnerable to attacks from large scale quantum computers. And what does that mean? It means that cyber criminals can do fraudulent authentication. They can forge digital signatures. And they can suck up data now and then decrypt it later. So what that means is that the threat isn't years from now when we have those powerful quantum computers. The threat is now, because all your data out there now is potentially at risk. OK, so that's great. We're all at risk. What can we do to not be at risk? And the simple answer is we need to migrate to quantum safe cryptography. That's cryptography that's not vulnerable to attacks from quantum computers. It's resistant to both classical and quantum attacks. And you don't have to do this yourself. There's a number of open source organizations that are working on doing this now. I mentioned two of them. Um, the first is the Post Quantum Cryptography Alliance. It's a Linux Foundation organization that is uh, working on building imp standard implementations of these quantum safe algorithms. And then there's the Open Quantum Safe organization, which is putting those implementations into tools like OpenSSH, OpenSSL, and others. Okay. So that's the implementation. So how do we become quantum safe? And there's really kind of a three step process in going about this. Uh, the first step is discover. We want to know where are we using cryptography? Um, it's in a lot of places you might not expect. So you want to build a, a, basically discover where you're using cryptography. Build a CBOM. That's a cryptography bill of materials. We've all heard of SBOMs. These are CBOMs. So step one, discover. Step two, observe. Now that you have this list, prioritize. Where are you most at risk? What posture do you need? Where do you need to be safe? And then lastly, you want to transform. You want to learn some of these remediation patterns that you can use to mitigate this risk, try them out in development, and start building a plan for getting them into production when the time comes. So remediation pattern, what do I mean by that? This is AppDeveloperCon. We're all familiar with the standard. We run a web service. It runs in Kubernetes. It's exposed via an ingress, and we have some client for people to access it. So we use cryptography in all three places. Where are we most vulnerable? Traffic across the public internet. So let's remediate that. Let's integrate post-quantum cryptography into our client, into our ingress controller, so that the public traffic is protected. We're not exposing anything across the public internet. And we can do this, and if we look at Wireshark logs, you know, sniffing across the internet, we can see down here we're using the Kyber algorithm, which is a post-quantum cryptography algorithm. We've protected our traffic. Okay. Now, that's not something that's going to happen overnight. This takes months. This takes years. But what can you do now to start being ready? I'm going to leave you with two things. The first is just learn about post-quantum cryptography. We've created a free course where you can get hands-on experience with post-quantum cryptography. Um, there's a QR code there, you can scan it, um, but you can play around you know, with the algorithms and you know, learn a bit about how cryptography works, how post-quantum cryptography works, and why you should use it. And the second is just start building that inventory. Start building up your C-bombs. Learn what a C-bomb is, learn where you're using cryptography. Start getting ready now so when it becomes, so you're not caught flat-footed when you need to be ready. All right, that's it. You know, rate the session, please. And thanks, everybody.